morning everyone good morning good morning and welcome to all the new folks and welcome back everybody how's everybody doing today hope everybody's having a great day and it's going to be another 110 degrees here in sunny phoenix today what's the weather like in your neck of the woods okay everybody we had a great keto day yesterday i made something new and i wasn't sure if it would um, help us or hinder us in our weight loss journey i made that um sausage gravy on chaffles last night and you guys it was absolutely yummy so make sure you guys go to the, vi the video yesterday that we had and it was absolutely delicious but let me share what we had exactly with you guys can you see that, Harry? Yeah, they can uh, see that link of yesterday's video at the end of this video. They can click on it. Okay, uh, you'll have it up at the end of the video. Okay. So we had an 18-hour fast yesterday. I did have, um, when I had that 18-hour fast, I did have my collagen coffee with heavy whipping cream in it. But we broke our fast with three eggs. I had scrambled eggs. Harry had over easy eggs. I had a tablespoon of that spicy Alterna ketchup, which is sweetened with stevia. Absolutely delicious. If you guys have never tried it, you might want to. It's absolutely delicious. There's a link for the Amazon link below that you guys can get it at no additional cost to you. You can go through our link and we'll have it linked below for the uh, Alterna Sweets spicy ketchup. Right. Harry had four of the chicken sausages that were leftovers. We needed to get that eaten. So that was our breakfast. And then last night, you guys, we had that sage sausage in Alfredo sauce on top of chaffles. And it was absolutely delicious. It was super easy because basically it was packaged or canned. We took our, 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 um, Alfredo sauce out of a jar, right out of a jar. We took the um, sausage, ground it up, browned it, put the Alfredo sauce on it. It was absolutely delicious. Put a little bit of Louisiana hot sauce on it. And oh, it yeah, was that's absolutely oh filling, God. delicious, yummy. And that's all I can say, you guys. Try it because it's so easy to do. You can even use hamburger meat. If you don't like sausage, you can use hamburger meat. You could use turkey meat. You know, whatever meat you choose, we just like that sage sausage, Swaggerty's sage sausage, is very, very flavorful. We had two scoops of collagen, as I said in the morning. I had four teaspoons of heavy cream. Harry had almond milk. We had our ACV, and we had Zevia. And it was a great day yesterday for us because we both went down. I went down one entire pound, so I went down to 179.4. Harry went down four tenths of a pound to 180. So my lowest weight so far on keto was 176. Harry's was 179.4. So I have a feeling tomorrow, if we do right today, if we do right today, our weight's gonna go down again and we're gonna start losing that water weight from the 4th of July. Um, that we did from overindulging in keto. So in keto snacks and keto packaged sweets. So anyway, folks, just wanted to share that with everybody. So I don't know if you guys have watched me through my vlogs, but I get ocular migraines. I am very scent sensitive. I bought Rudabala. I've been having issues with my sleep because I'm high doses of niacin. I'm taking a thousand milligrams of niacin prescription per the doctor for one month because I'm having an issue with my blood. So I'm having issues sleeping. So I'm trying new things. Well, I bought the valerian root and I tried it by itself with my normal regime and it worked but it still I only slept five hours when I had it so last night I tried to add the rutabala hold please I'm back sorry movie magic I wanted to share with you guys I don't want to take it out it's a roller container it's rutabala and actually you guys it worked 
It really did. I had a great night's sleep with, with one exception. The exception is, oops, take it away. I can smell it. Put it in the bathroom or something. Okay. The challenge is I woke up at 3 a.m. with a full-on ocular migraine. And you've never done that before. I have never done that before. Woken up in the middle of my sleep. I had to go to the bathroom. And I could not see. I had a horrible, and it was funny because I didn't have the pain. I just had the ocular part of it. And if you guys don't understand what that is, an ocular migraine affects your eyesight. And you get this white blinding light that kind of wiggles all the time. And mine is in a circle like your, like your retina is in a circle. And I see little geodesic bright shiny shapes wiggling like triangles and squares and things. And um, <clears throat> I could hardly see, but I didn't have any pain, so I went back to sleep. Woke up this morning with the same ocular migraine. So what happened is, is because I had that on me. You roll it on and it ingested, it, it just absorbs into your epidermis, into your skin. I couldn't get it off. So I've been fighting an ocular migraine this morning. I took my fever few. I took an Excedrin migraine. Let's see, we got up at seven, it's eight o'clock. And then I took base, which is the ketones part, and you can get different brands, but I had the perfect keto base. We saw a YouTube on a woman who is getting her PhD, she's a doctor, she has had such bad migraines throughout her life that she literally would, as a child, bang her head on the wall because the pain of banging her head was better than her migraines were. And through all of her tests and her thesis, through her PhD, she found out that the ketogenic diet helps migraine sufferers and it's because of the ketones. And what happens is, is your brain gets starved. So if you take base, it gets up to your brain very quickly and your brain can use it and it can calm those migraines right down. So I cannot remember the name of the doctor who interviewed her and the, the whole segment on that, but I'll try my best to find it. But I always have base around and I had just enough this morning um, that I took it. The challenge is, if I don't take my fever few right away, when I first start getting it, if it goes into a full-blown migraine, then I normally, in an hour, get a, the, the pain that comes with the migraine. I haven't had any pain, but I have the ocular part that's just hanging on. But you had some of that, Because too. I took the last of my base, and it really helped because I tried to log on this morning and I couldn't see. I couldn't see, couldn't see to put my makeup on. I couldn't see, so now I just have a little bit of the ocular, it's kind of over here and moving, but I don't have any pain with it. So I'm gonna order some more of the, the Perfect Keto Base. I go with it because I like the flavor of it and the cost of it. Base is more expensive. Base is one of the most expensive products you can get, <clears throat> but it's really worth it if you have ocular migraines or if you have migraines, you might wanna try it. I am not any way, shape or form, a doctor, a medical person, a, a a holistic doctor I am not anything in the medical field and this is what I've done for me based on what I've seen and heard and read on the internet regarding base ketones so it's something you can experiment with um, and I know there are coupon codes and stuff you can get for perfect keto I know that keto rewind um, just has a code I know Nich Nicole Burgess has a code I think Daniela Diaries has a code. There's lots of people that have. You're going to try to get a code, so. I will. I'll try. Yeah. I'm just the newbie on the block, so, you know, eventually yeah. I'll have one, but I don't have one now. So, it works for me. You might want to try it. So, anyway, folks, enough said. I can see enough to where I can try to go through. I put my makeup on this morning, so if it looks a little weird, uh, just if I look like a little clown, with my eyeshadow, it's not my face, it's the eyes that are the issue. How do you guys find my little octopus? Oh, I've yeah, had him for it. a couple of, yeah, I've had him for a year or two. Yeah. I love him, he's cute. So anyway, just a little side note. 
But if you guys are ocular, if you guys are sen sensitive, this Rudavala is extremely odor. Now it's weird because I did open it and I smelled it and then I put it away and I didn't have an issue. And I thought, okay, I can try this, didn't I, Harry? Yep. I did that twice last mm -hmm. night in an hour increment and it didn't bother me. And I rolled it on my, my um, wrist, my arms and my navel and went to bed. I didn't have an issue, but when I woke up and ever since then, I've had it. So of uh, the absorption into the skin, yeah. I'm not sure what. And I'm not scent sensitive to pure lavender. So whatever the other items are in it is what caused the issue. Because I've slept with lavender in a sachet under my pillow before for years. Um, because lavender helps relax you. The scent of lavender helps relax you. And I've never had an issue. So there's something in it that I just can't use. Just wanted to... No, I did not break a nail. Thank heavens. Thank God. Thank heavens. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, everybody. I'll see everybody in the next segment. What you breaking? I am going to break our fast because I've been taking, I've taken way too many pills this morning on an empty stomach for my ocular migraine. So we're having scrambled eggs. Does that work for that's you? That's fine, yeah. That's to fine. break our fast, just something Whatever's simple easy, man. and easy. So I'm cracking six eggs. I'm going to have to go here. Put this back over here. Whip this puppy up. Something super simple, super easy. And super delicious. And we'll come back, you guys, when it's scrambled eggs. I used Alterna Spicy Tomato Ketchup on my eggs. It's delicious if you guys haven't tried it. Here's the, it's all clean ingredients. It's sweetened with stevia. It's absolutely delicious. You can get Alterna Sweets ketchup and products on Amazon. You can get it on Vitacost, which is where I get it. The link below for Amazon is below. And here is our breakfast, you guys. Something simple, something easy, something that will go nice on my stomach and help me with all the pills I've been ingesting this morning for my ocular migraine. Hey everybody, it's dinner time and it's hecka hot here. It's a high heat warning. It's about 114 in sunny Arizona. So I am gonna have leftover, we're gonna have leftovers. And I have a leftover chicken that I decided to add just a little bit. What is it? It's leftover chicken salad that I added a tablespoon of Alterna Sweets or Stevia Sweet Barbecue, excuse me. This barbecue sauce is really good. I wanted a little sweet and tanginess. I wanted to switch it up a little bit. So I added that to my chicken. You know what? Why didn't I bring a spoon? Why didn't I bring a spoon? Hold, please. I'm back. Spoon, fork. Yeah. And I'm going to put my barbecue chicken salad right here on my lettuce. And barbecue chicken salad is good, you guys. Don't discount it. It's really good. And it just gives me a little bit different flavor. It's a little bit soupier, so I'm not going to be using any... Um, any extra or additional dressing because when I toss that, it's gonna be yummy. He's having two ounces of, what do you call these things? Tree leaves. Yep, tree leaves. Tree leaves. Tree leaves. Because they aren't real salad. Yes, they are real salad. Yeah. They're greens. Super greens and 50-50. Look at that. Look what? At that. If you go out back, you'll see our tree is getting really naked. Mary, it is so hot. You're such a buttsky boo. And he's having his ranch avocado dressing by Primal. Putting that on, drizzling it on. Mm -mm -mm. Yum, dillyumptious. And he gets chicken. 
What do I get? Chicken. Leftover chicken. Oh, cool. My fave. Well, there's one in here that got happy. That's all right. Get that one too. So Who don't look at the bony part. Who ate that? Me. Okay. It was my leftover that I didn't finish eating yesterday. So let me put a little bit of. Uh, do you want a baby bell or mozzarella? Oh, I'll take a uh, mozzarella, please, for a hundred. Mozzarella for a hundred. And you guys, we had three uh, pimento stuffed green olives uh, about an hour and a half ago. Mmm, look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. So let's get some pepper on this. Both. My pepper is on fine ground because if I do it on really thick, it just gets stuck in my teeth. It's not enjoyable, thick cracked pepper. But I love cracked pepper, so. Put a little bit of dulse on there. And voila, super easy, cool and delicious. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put a little bit more of tahine for your lime on your chicken because it just is so Yeah, I like good, that guys. stuff, man. Just sprinkle a little bit of this on the salad neck that you have or your accompanying vegetables. It is so delicious. If you guys do um, jicama and you peel your jicama, just put a little squeeze of lime juice and sprinkle this on it. It is heavenly. This is how I first learned about this was from my kids, Felicia and Brad. They had us over for a Mexican uh, taco night and they had raw jicama with this on it. Oh man, because jicama is kind of sweet and crunchy. This on it, awesome. Okay, you guys, this is dinner. Let me share. Mm -mm. I'll do it this way. Yeah, there you go. Now you can see it all. Yeah, you can see it all? Yeah. Okay. Don't look at the bony. You guys are gonna look at this bone thing. That was my. <laughs> okay, you guys, we're gonna wrap it up for the day. Um, this was a light and easy day. I was having issues with a uh, migraine headache, and I had to take some Excedrin migraine and some extra stuff today because it just went on too long. But I feel better today. I feel better this evening, excuse me, than I did this morning. The aura part of my migraine went away. I did get the pain with it. The pain is subsiding, so I feel a lot better. Anyway, folks, if you guys like what you see, please like, subscribe, ring that bell, give me a thumbs up, and I will see you tomorrow. This looks really good, honey. I gotta chop this up, though, because this chicken...